And like I said, basically all you do is you push and hold it. And once it gets up to power, it'll actually, it'll turn the power off and then it'll, it'll switch. Right, and then when you're ready to go, just hit generator set. And that last one, it's good. And then give it a couple seconds, it says switch back over to the power pole side. Okay. And it's diesel, so in the winter time, it's going to take just like an old pickup, it'll crank, 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 crank it. And just keep holding the button unless it flashes really, 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 really fast instead of like that slow blink. As long as it's slow blinking, eventually it'll start just waking the glow plugs more on the big truck. And once it's fired up, let it run. Don't shame on me for turning it off. Let, let it run for a couple minutes before you kick it off so it gets a chance to warm it up just a little bit. Um, and the last switch you got hiding here is this is your radio power switch. This basically just tells the radio where to get power from. So right now, it's actually taking power from the coach itself. So a lot of people will drive, will travel with just the coach, just the chassis battery on and leave the coach battery off so nothing's running in the coach. Uh -huh. Flip it up and every time you turn the ignition on, it'll do just like your pickup does, it'll turn itself on. Alright, 